Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Blood Plasma Pack on the well done difficulty for the PC. Played through fresh supply. We are doing all levels continuously and this is E6M5, the Ruined Temple. Let's begin. So immediately we'll get our sawed off out, use it on the Gill Beast here. Might have to use it a bit more than usual for whatever reason. Kill the coldest here. And these ones as well. Mind the Acolyte. Then let the Hellhound drown. Next on our target priority list are these Butchers. Who may have been throwing a few projectiles your way. Maybe not. Just steal from like so. Some of them will drop life essences. And you want to grab those life essences. And also grab the Napalm Launcher. While you're here... Be careful for any enemies that may still linger about. You don't know if a Coles or Acolyte will like run into here or not. Either way, we'll get the dynamite out for this next part. And uh, just casually toss it around this corner here. Just to get rid of all these spiders. Now we'll get the uh, shotgun out to deal with these two zombies. And get the dynamite out again. And wake up all the zombies here. All of them. And I mean all of them, because there are more here. Yes, let's get them all into one big pile. One big bundle. And throw our bundle of TNT at them. And you, you get the pitchfork treatment. So there's your sawed off here, we can pick that up. But we're still gonna use the TNT to kill these guys. Usually that works a lot better than I thought it would, so I'm going to use the Doctor's Bag. Alternatively, there are plenty of life essences here that you can pick up if you take any damage. Which you may or may not. <laughs> Anyways, we can blow up this. You may kill a hit scanner. You can kill more by tossing some dynamite into this room. And uh, you'll get some detonators out of it. And also, Go into this area with the fire armor to tag the secret. And also, while you're here, we'll get the napalm launcher out since this is a continuous run. We'll go down this lift here. Then go back up. Then go back down. And now let's kill this thing. Thank goodness it's dead. Drop the life essence too, or maybe that was one of the coldest. Either way, it's gone. And this area opened up from blowing that part up. We can kill the Hellhound here. And we can ride up the lift. And this will take us straight up to an area where we should have gone earlier. Or actually, yeah, this place is good to clear out for now. So we don't have to clear it out later. And you'll see why we cleared it out now. <laughs> Yeah, there are plenty of hellhounds there, but the Tesla makes quick work of them, of course. I'll grab one of these life essences and be on my way, because I can't go through that door yet since I don't have a key. Anyways, there are more hellhounds here. And they are more than eager to harass you with their fire. There's a voodoo doll and a tommy gun here, and also a wall you can push to go through here to get this secret. It has a doctor's bag in it, so you want to get that if you want to get the doctor's bag, of course. While you're here, blow this wall up. And you'll be able to go through this part to kill this zombie. And go to this fun secret. Grab the Tesla charges and the shotgun shells before you do. Then also, grab the super armor. Then do a sick jump with the uh, boots of jumping there. Because, wait for it. Yeah, those faces, they are exploding faces. Well, the faces themselves won't explode, but they shoot things that do explode. Yeah, fun, isn't it? And are, there are also plenty of zombies here, as well as the uh, hellhounds that would have been through there. But we killed them first, so we don't have to deal with them in this area. 
However, we will have to go back down here for one reason alone. There are a few zombies in this area. So, time your movement correctly around this area so you can kill the zombies. Then you can get out. Now, if you're wondering how to get out while this is firing, you want to predict your move. You want to predict when the uh, projectiles are being shot from this face. So now you go. And go up here. Wake up the zombie. Kill him. Don't worry about the rats. They'll just crisp themselves up. Mmm, extra crispy rat. Anyways, get the Tesla out because we're going through this area. You do want to go through here. So you want to kill this thing. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. We'll kill the zombie too, I guess. Thank goodness it's dead. We won't ever have to deal with it ever again in I this map. Key. So that needs a key, or does it? It's uh, interesting that door there, but whatever. We're gonna grab a Tesla here, wake up several zombies. There's body armor here if you need it. And there are also some cultists and acolytes here. Various humanoid types. It's also this you can blow up. Or save it. You may see why you want to save it for later. Anyways, we'll get the remote detonator out. Toss it into this room. Blow it up a few times. Kill the hellhounds with it. I prefer not to waste Tesla on Colas and Fanatics, but sometimes you have to do when they try to jump you by surprise. You might not want to use it on the uh, Zealots, though, because I believe they aren't uh, vulnerable to it. Anyways, you can blow up these barrels here to kill several Colas and Acolytes in here. If you don't kill them with the barrels, just kill them with your guns or whatever weapon you want, really. Doesn't matter. What does matter is, you want to grab the full drum of bullets and the Tommy gun here. Then go down to this area, kill this acolyte, blow these up. Just blow up everything, really. And, you know, before we even go down here, we're going to double check this area. Because, if you look over here, there's a Guns Akimbo pickup on that platform there. We'll grab that when the time comes, but for now we're just going to... Make sure all these zombies are good and dead. Just like that. There's a way you can go through here, but I'm not going to go through that way. Instead, I'm going to go through this way to grab the guns of Kimbo. Now I'm going to do a sick jump over this. Because if you fall there, you'll die. Trust me. Anyways, we'll go through here. We'll kill all the coals in this area. Grab the full drum of bullets here. And be on our way. You can make your way down here. Ambush these guys. And here's a risky move. When your guns akimbo runs out, you can go down here. Keep moving forward or else you'll fall into there and die. And you want to go here to get the secret with more guns akimbo, but also open this up to get a secret limited invulnerability. Yes, we'll be using that right now. Both of these. Wait, I don't want to use this spray can. Give me the napalm. Just like that, yes. And while you're here, kill these guys, of course. Go up here, get a secret with a life seed. You can use this thing to jump up onto here. If you open this up, it'll take you back here. So... That stair if you want it. You want to grab the I key in this area. Because we'll be using that in a little bit. And if you're careful with your jumps, you can jump up there. But there's not too much there except another coal is wanting to do you in. So we'll just blow them up and blow up that barrel that was in there too. How about that? So now we've gotten everything in this area. We'll grab the Tesla charges here. And we'll just make our way up back through here. Yeah, we're doing some backtracking. 
while we're at it, we'll make sure all the zombies in this area are good and dead. Make sure this area is cleared out. Always double check to make sure you got everything. I need a key. So, this doesn't need the eye key. However, this door does. And when you go to the store, you'll be greeted by a phantasm, so just deal with them like so. Grab the fire key. You can open this bookshelf from here if you want, but take note that you you can't open this door with the fire key. I need a key. So what what key can you get to unlock this? Uh, the answer is none. I I think there is no key that you can get that unlocks this door. It is the weirdest door I've ever seen. They just should have just said it's locked. Whatever. We'll kill the zombies here with the napalm and kill these hellhounds with the Tesla. And try to ignore the fact that that door is weird. Then we can finally open this fire door here and exit the level. There it is. E6M5. The ruined temple. And, uh... It's not too bad. It's, uh... Pretty good for a post-mortem level, I, I think. The only problem I have is that secret with the super armor that has those shooting faces at you. But you can avoid having to go to the area on the right that usually has the hellhounds by going into the area with the lift that has the like coldest in it and that one fire pod shooting thing. I need to look those up in the manual. <laughs> Anyways... The rest of this level was pretty good. There were great enemy placements, there were great secret placements, great use of pickups too, and uh, it's very fun once you know what you're doing. Anyways, we are done with this video, stay tuned for the next one where we go into E6M6, but until then, toodaloo.